I go by the name of Rocco Polo, and I got a legend in the building. That's right, all the way from Brownsville, Brooklyn, represents the supergroup EMC, and of course the legendary Juice Crew. Trill Phoenix makes some noise for the legend Master Ace! Taking a break from all your worries, sure will help along. Wouldn't you like to get away? Quit playing me. Oh. Had a few cats betray me. Try to play me. Mail the 
and try to blame me. Fuck you, pay me. If y'all good, y'all will finish me. That's why this video here is for everybody in the industry. When you trying to hustle for pay, and people getting your way. That's when you ready to say, fuck all y'all. When the job is giving you hell, the pay is minimal sale. That's when you ready to yell, fuck all y'all. When it's really starting to see that people killing your dreams. That's when you ready to scream, fuck all y'all. I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to you. Fuck all y'all. Do it like this. We did it like that, and now we 
your wrist. Uh -huh. Just think about the steel in your fist. It's just an extension of your heart. Uh -huh. that ghetto type rush on. That makes all the whole boys want. And I got the palm oh, oh, yes, I can. Move with the crew, smooth like each man. Who is the man? He's that kid there. there. Who is the chick with the big in the hair? Angela, a dangerous server boy. Baby, bring a car, kid. Feels so good to be a cook and dodger. Uh -huh. What's happening to Rira and Roger? I think I've seen him wearing Timberlands. Oh. Running down the block, yeah. the way and the way out of the block. See you selling rock for the Partridge family. Uh -huh. Ruben can't cage, drop a 300 lead. Uh -huh. And if the pepper pussy drop, three drop a lead. Plus he stuck Mr. T for all the jewelry. Yeah, this is the 70s thing for the days when kids didn't act so crazy. It's Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, Phoenix. 50 years of hip hop we celebrate this year. So I would like for us right now, all of us in this room together right now, in one voice, we're gonna celebrate the culture. Let's go. We did it like that and now we do it like this. We did it like that and now we do it like this. We did it like that and now we do it like this. We did it like that. Y'all having a good time tonight? Somebody oh, yeah. said yeah. Hey. Hey. You having a good time tonight? Somebody oh, yeah. said hell yeah. All right. They warming up, Ace. They're gonna give me. Let me take an opportunity to introduce you to my my brother from another mother right here. This guy was born and raised in Milwaukee, USA. Yes, sir. I'm He's been touring with me. He's been touring with me for, with me for over 21 years. Please make some noise for my homeboy Strickland! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And behind the music tonight, incredible producer, born and raised in Toronto, Canada. If you ain't heard his beat, you need to hear him. Please give it up for my good friend, Marco Polo! Hey, when I say Marco, you say Polo. Marco! Marco, when I say Marco, you say Polo. Marco, Marco, Polo. Marco, Polo. Marco, Polo. Marco, Polo. Yeah, yeah. I like those pianos, Ace. One, two.
Check, 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 check. All right. Shout out to my man Gerald Moody in the building. Yes, sir. From my old hood, Brownsville, Brooklyn. He lives right here now, y'all. Yeah? You from Brownsville too? Van Dyke's boy. Van okay. All right, all right. Van Dyke houses. We from Howard houses. Yeah. Right up the street. Crown Heights. See, I told y'all I said because you know we everywhere. Yeah. Brooklyn is everywhere. Yeah. Man, listen, uh. Don't worry about it. Good. Listen, I uh. I just want to take a minute out of the show and just real quickly acknowledge the, the woman that raised me in those Brooklyn streets, and that's my mom. Yeah. For those who don't know, my mom she passed away back in 2005. And I said every time I step on a stage anywhere, whether it's in the States or overseas, I'm just going to take a minute out of the show and just acknowledge her. So whenever I think about her, my heart gets heavy. I just take one finger and I just point it up high to the sky like this. If there's somebody in your life that you miss that's no longer here with us, could be a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, a cousin, an uncle, a grandparent, a best friend, whoever that might be, just one finger high in the sky to acknowledge you thinking about that person right now. I see a lot of fingers high in the sky, a lot of memories in this room right now. And I want you to know, Phoenix, I stand in front of y'all tonight, proud to be the son of Yvonne. So my mom, listen, yo, I was born, son of Yvonne, Brownsville came that wanted me on, hit the streets, wanna be gone, outside with a curfew, got lessons on honesty and virtue, and the people that have hurt you, drug addicts, ex-convicts, yeah. living in a world surrounded by these conflicts, so many, too many to mention, you can feel all the tension, my mom's intervention, yo, trying to save my son from the worst fate, getting home after eight when she works late. Banana. I was in the control, in the lobby, sitting on tenant patrol. Cause folks getting robbed on the regular. My chain snatching dudes just in it for gold. Son of Yvonne, had a fight up the street. He's a nice kid, but ain't nothing sweet. All I do, I do it for you. It's what all you did when I was a kid. Cause it's mad friends so ain't wanna be born. But I'm glad to be the son of Yvonne. Listen, yo, son of Yvonne, better get the best grades. Couple of B's, a C, and the rest days. Not time for the class, now I nearly last. Now I'll beat your ass if you make you gon' barely pass. One of my best friends, they be pitching school. Every week is like a Friday ritual. You got a mind of your own, so let it be known. Son of Yvonne, Sean, education tool. All I do, do it for you. This for all you did when I was a kid. Cause it's mad friends, so you wanna be born. But I'm glad to be the son of Yvonne. One more time. All I do, I do it for you. It's for all you did when I was a kid. Cause it's mad friends ain't wanna be born. But I'm glad to be the son of Yvonne. Third verse. Son of Yvonne, grandson of F.E. Clear. Heard you rap now, DeVal. Let me hear. I can piss the leaves, huh? And I'm upstairs. What? Make a sweet potato pie, cause it's Christmas Eve. Under the tree, pay a face racing track. Pick up a gift, shake it, then place it back. I wonder what it is, huh? Instead of taking a guess. What? Next morning, open gifts, making a mess. Then it always sits where? In the same chair. Yep. Jack the five, sing a root off the reindeer. In the background, huh? I go upstairs. What? To see what Mike got. Then I come back down to enjoy more. Getting a good cooking. Life in the hood, Brooklyn. Good looking. Son of Yvonne, Brownsville, born and bred. And like that quilt, man, the guy on the bed. I'm a bunch of things, all sewn together. I'm a bunch of things, all sewn together. I'm a bunch of things, all sewn together. To make one man that we know forever. Rest in peace. One, two. Like I said, my mom's raised me in those mean streets of Brownsville, Brooklyn. But she didn't raise me to be like a lot of other kids in my neighborhood, nah. She raised me to be a little different. She raised me to be young, black, intelligent. This is not a first, but it feels like a curse, and it weighs like an elephant. Heavy on my mind, because I feel so irrelevant. Heavy on my heart, like a spark for the hell of it. As I scroll through the villain, stranded on the silent, feel like a billion. Friends got jail, and then they got bail. Just yeah. that I wonder, I just wonder what they're killing it. Please understand that I'm living in the concrete. Nothing will I suffer. 
Asia. All I wanna do is get a B in geometry. Lose my virginity and live my life drama free. That's it. 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 Come on, somebody say yeah. Somebody say oh, yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah. All righty then. Check this out. If you love hip hop, put one hand up right now. Only if you love it though. Don't put it up if you just like hip hop. <laughs> Only if you love it. Live it. A lot of hands. A lot of hands in the room. Okay, you can put them down. You can put them down. I always like to take a survey to see who really loves this music because a lot of people say they love hip hop. But their actions don't really prove it to me, right? Now, my relationship with hip hop is deep. Like, we ain't just go on a couple of dates. <laughs> nah. We in a full fledged 30 year relationship. 30 years plus. Let me explain what I mean. See, see my love affair with hip hop, I promise to stay true. No matter what crazy ass things that she goes through. See, I'm in this for the long haul. I don't know about you. Remember when Common said he used to love her? Mm. I still do.
Yeah, I like that joint, Ace. I like that shit right there. One of the best MCs to do it. The best MCs. Word up. Who's living? Where M got his style here. Yep. Listen to yeah. Y'all still with us out there? Yeah. 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 My third album came out in 1995. Shit. How many of y'all was around in 95? <laughs> oh, so I'm going have a mature audience. That's what I'm talking about. Now, uh, in 95, I felt real good about where I was going with my career because I got past what they call the sophomore jinx. Because most artists on that second album, everything just tanks and they never get to get that third album. So I felt real good about things in 95 because I was on my third album. And I stepped out in the game with a lot of confidence. And I stepped out there like this. I said, my name is Master Ace, I'm on the microphone. And when I'm in Phoenix, I'm sitting on chrome. Sitting on chrome.
Boy, I tell you, that 90s hip hop, never go wrong with that shit. Classic. On the east side to the west side. Can <laughs> y'all still in the building or what? Say hell yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Just checking. Just checking. Yeah. I just want to take a second. I want to take a second and acknowledge some of the MCs that were big influences on me early in my career. Cats that when I heard them rap, I knew I had to step my game up, right? The first cat I got to mention them. I don't know. If y'all familiar with him or not, some of y'all should be. But it's my man, LL Cool J. Yeah. We got LL Cool J fans out here? Yeah. Man, listen, my man L used to use a lot of big words. When, when I heard I was like, oh, I gotta start putting some big words in my shit, right? <laughs> and uh, I like when my man L, he said, uh, he said, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my peers, putting suckers in tears. Making the fears rain down like a monsoon. Listen to the bass go boom, explosion. It's my man LL Cool J. I remember that. You young folks, you don't know about him? Yeah. That's why they made Google, right? Go Google my man and check him out. He's incredible. Second guy I gotta mention, good friend of mine actually, my juice crew brother, Big Daddy K. Yeah. Oh, they heard of K. Hey, Big Daddy K fans in Phoenix? Y'all yeah. heard of K. Y'all remember when y'all remember when Kane said, he said, let it roll, get bold. I just can't hold back or fold, cause I'm a man with soul in control and effects so what the heck? Rock the disco tank and his groove was what's next. Okay, okay. remember that shit? Okay. You young folks, you don't know about Big Daddy Kane, Google him. Super talented. The third MC I gotta mention, and I'm not gonna lie when I first heard his raps. It made me throw away everything I was doing. I threw it all in the trash and I started from scratch. Huh? And that's the guard, Rock Kim. Oh, Ooh, we. We got Rock Kim fans in Phoenix? Yeah. Okay, oh, sure. Man. Okay. Hey, y'all remember when, y'all remember when Rock Kim, he said, he said, it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a strong rhyme to step to. Think of how many we shows you slept through? Time's up. I'm sorry I kept you. Think of that ish to keep repeating your miss. The rhyme from the microphone solo is you sit by the radio, hang on the dial so as you hear it, pump up the volume.
hear the story again and again and how it all got started from beginning to end. Where cats used to run in the back and slaughter, rooftop in the square and the Latin quarter. If you came alone, then your chain was gone. Unless you was from the hood and your name was known. Yeah. And even then, you was taking a risk. They were rushing for your chain while you was taking a piss. Hip hop used to be so thick in the air. When it was there, you ain't even need a kick in the snare. Could have been finger snaps and hand claps. Nowadays, it feels a little different when I'm playing rap. The track prevents these cats are French. The media lacking sense when I rap's intense, and I'll be the best in these rap events. How I got this far is for experience. Come on! because I never know what y'all gonna yell out. We don't have anything planned at this point, we just got records, right? And I don't always have all the records. And some joints I don't remember because I haven't performed them in 10, 15 years. So the soap, I don't think I've done that song in about seven, eight years, so I was remembering it as I was spinning it, you know what I'm saying? But starting on this side, I'm coming down again. Any other joints that y'all want to hear? Oh, there you go. Yeah, we got her. You got that. Most of the Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Okay. Unreleased song. Okay, okay, okay. Music man. Okay. Hold you. Most of the There's some heads in here tonight, Mark. We definitely need to hear that from the All right. Let's see what we got, Mark. All right. I think we got to figure it out. Good job tonight, Marco Polo. Good job tonight. Yes, yes. Good job tonight. All right, so the joint we're going to do right now is dedicated to the ladies in the room right now. Now, we always, we always happen to see ladies at the shows. But they all the way back there, though. Yeah, I mean, y'all in the back, I know y'all just chilling, y'all enjoying it from back there, but it's a lot more fun if y'all come a little closer. I promise you that. All the action is up here, so come on down. Fill this up here. Come on down. Come on down. That's what I'm talking about. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. I trust you. It's all fun up here. It's all fun. You might even get a little sweat on you. It's okay. Wow. <laughs> now, this joint I'm about to do right here, right? I'm gonna talk to my lady right here. What's your name, Miss? I'm Lala. Lala, how you doing? Nice to meet you. This joint I'm about to do, it's about this, this shorty that I met one day when I was walking through Brooklyn, right? And she was kind of nice. 
So I stepped to her and I was like, this is what I said to her, I said, can we walk and talk, share our worlds, feeling you will hold out more than most girls. If you give me a number, I'll holler, I wanna see you again, Brooklyn Masala. So sexy, so sexy, so sexy. Come on, y'all. B to the, B to the, K to the, K to the, B to the, B to the, K to the, K to the, B to the, K to the, L to the, Y to the, N. Say what, y'all? I met her on the corner of Gates and Best Stop. It was only right that I took her to stand high. Cause she looked like no other chick I ever saw. Like she was on a way to the top. Like I'm coming up back to the corner store. Now ask what her name was. Cause she was the one who was in the back. Cause she was the one who was in the back. Cause she was the one who was in the back. Now, let me talk to you. Let me ask Marco something real quick. Check this out. I love that song too. And for those of you that love that song and requested, it was a few people that said they wanted to hear Brooklyn Masala. So that's why we put it on. But I just had a feeling and a vibe and an idea. Since it's such a special night, we're here at the Trill Store. I thought I would do a little remix to Brooklyn Masala. A little different version, right? Same lyrics, but... Just a different version, something that we do every now and then when it's a special vibe in the room, right? So I call this version Brooklyn Masala with the fat booty. Right at the nurse table right there. We got uh, shirts, vinyl, CDs. Shout out to my man, Zach. Yeah, everything is set up already, but we'll be over at that table right there. If you want to get something signed, if you want to take a picture, if you just want to say hello, we'll be right there making ourselves accessible to you guys. All right? Now, uh, moving on with the show, I would like to let you guys know that early in my career, first album in particular, but a lot of the records that I sampled throughout my career are records from my mom's record collection. We got any vinyl heads in the room tonight? Oh, word? Okay. How many people like vinyl? 
My mom's, listen, my mom's had the crazy collection of vinyl, and a lot of those records I would sample and be became records on my albums. And I had my man Marco pull up one of my mom's records that I used to hear when I was a kid playing around the house. It's probably not that familiar to y'all, but it's familiar to me. So if y'all don't mind, I'm just gonna go back to being six years old, eight years old, yeah. and just remember this record. Let's celebrate my mom's, one of her joints. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna get to your producer, I'm smacking you first. Yeah, I 
couldn't even find one nigga that heard of you. No, nope. they find a few cats that want to murder you. But I told him, chill. I didn't know you was my son. And I promise I can pay and support to you 21. Instead of me to close on your back in a war field. Who knows? It's just like, get you a deal. And the day your album go on sale for the first hour, just remember, like, now it's nigga, you made me power. I figured I'd give you some help because you need lots. I make him do some changes, name the Speed Lots. Tell him I support him for doing the track. Matter of fact, fuck oh, that bitch. Doing the lot. I'm gonna dish you via email. They do a fax. I'm gonna dish you by two way. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna dish you over a fast, slow track, or no track. This shit wasn't so whack, I dish you your track. You have a little fish that I catch and I throw back. And by the way, get ready, set, and flow back. You that cat in the club to get hit with a bottle. Fuck with me, you better off trying to hit lotto. Fuck with me, you better off trying to hit lotto. Don't answer back to the saw shit. The follow. You can't spit in the streets, 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 you can't spit in the Touching down in Phoenix. Hopefully it's soon. Yep. You know, we got a new album, me and Mark got a new album coming out. But um, this is a case I don't see you guys for a few years. And it takes, because I don't know when the last time I've been. It's been a few years, right? So it could be another stretch of four or five years before I touch down again. So I want to just share this with you guys before I, before I go. Just so you know how I feel about this journey that I've been on for the last 30 plus years. Right? Check it out. So if I never recorded another song, if I was wrong and nothing I spit, it was ever strong. If I never perform in another venue, if this genuine love doesn't continue, if none of my records was ever sold, if I fold and I never see platinum or even gold, if nobody ever again can recall, if I stall and I start working part-time at the mall, if there's no more shows for me to dabble in, no more traveling, even a show in Maryland, if none of my songs have never been, never spent, in heavy rotation ever again. If I don't do a song to excite millions, or get a video done by Hype Williams. If there's never a chance again to be seen, on the pages inside of another magazine. If the luxuries in life I can't of course afford. If I never win a billboard or a source award, I wouldn't want your pity or your sympathy. Even if Marley never put me on a symphony. But I gotta admit it, I'm glad he did it. It's considered the first verse that I spitted. I realize that I'm still a part of history. I learned the key to victory, it's not a mystery. See, I got a lot of love for what I do in life. And after this, I'm gonna find something new in life. I guarantee it to be something that I really love. I give thanks for my life, the God up above. That I'm blessed to have a job that I enjoy doing. Now as a man, I'm doing what I was a boy doing. Only difference is, now I get to eat from it. I never thought I would be known on the street from it. But if not one fan ever shows gratitude. And when y'all see me, y'all walk by with an attitude. It was still an enjoyable ride. Yup, big up the Kane, Bismarck, and the far side. Yeah. And of course, to all my past label mates. Hope y'all keep on rising like the cable race. And yo, Premier and Guru, this goes out to you. Yeah. Special Light and Buckshot, this is a shout to you. I don't know if this the end, but you it might be. Pick up the Q-tip, Ali Shaheed and Spike yeah. Lee. And everybody in the game I ever worked with. And all the chicks up in the game I used to flirt with. But if I never get another piece of show coochie, don't see no more Louis Vuitton and no Gucci. No more Swain and Lennon, no more designer denim. No more Jeeps with a thousand watt systems in them. No more sitting on chrome with them Pirelli shoes. No more getting my name up in the daily news. No more Lexus, Coops, Bamers, and Benzes. No more Cartier frames with colored lenses. No more chains and bracelets and no briquettes. For what it's worth, Phoenix, I got no regrets. I'm a 
flow with the great seas. Uh -huh. And we didn't care about the haters, please. He done paid his dues, paid his fees. He done stayed overseas and made his jeans. But now I got a life and she bad as Sally. My mom's just a militant, dad is rally. Fans kind of act like they clap out. When they finally sit in home, sad and pouty. You show me some love, I'm going to show it right back. Yeah. I know a tight dress, so I throw it like that. Yeah. I'm lemon brown and white, I turn it black. Show me some love.